You are listening to KSC podcast. This is a short, crisp, concise, exam-oriented, edited editorial for civil services aspirants. In this podcast, we are going to talk about Indian men working more, but women having less leisure time. Source for the content is Somit and Raj's article for the print. Young adults in their 20s are the backbone of a country. These are the years in an individual's life when some are completing their education while others are at the start of their careers. Many get married, take up new responsibilities for their families. With an average age of 29, India has one of the youngest populations in the world. People in this age group today would be working for the largest number of years going forward and thus contribute most to the expansion of the Indian economy. Now, talking about the divide among young adults, using national representative data from the Time Youth Survey 2019 to 2020 for India, we explore how an average employed young adult in India spends their day and if the pattern differs for men and women. As per the survey, around 78% and 70% of young men in rural and urban India, respectively, were in paid work and the same ratios were 16% and 70% for young women. The survey classifies a person as employed if they are in paid work during the major time of the reference year, that is six months or more, irrespective of the number of hours worked. On average, on average, young men in urban India work the longest hours, 8.5 hours daily, followed by just over 7 hours among young men in rural India. Employed young women in urban areas work for 6.5 hours, while in the rural areas, time spent in paid work was around 4 hours and 45 minutes on average. The pattern is suggestive of a larger proportion of employed women in part-time employment, especially in rural areas. While young women in paid work spend less time working for monetary returns compared to men, they spend much more time in domestic work. Employed young women in paid work in rural India spend about 4 hours and 50 minutes on household chores, while their counterparts in urban areas spend around 2 hours and 45 minutes on domestic work. In contrast, employed young men spend only 40 and 30 minutes in rural and urban areas, respectively carrying out domestic work. Now, what does marriage do? Further analysis of daily time use carried out by taking into consideration the marital status of young adults reveals how marriage shifts the burden of domestic work and childcare onto women. An unmarried employed young woman spent around 1.5 hours on these activities while her married counterpart spent around 5 and a half hours. In contrast, an unmarried employed man spent around 25 minutes in domestic work while a married man in paid work spent around 47 minutes. In short, marriage does not seem to make much of a difference to men's daily time use pattern, but it does for women, and the change is significant. Young men, irrespective of their employment status, were more likely to be involved in community and social work compared to corresponding groups of young women. This difference is much higher in rural areas. It points potentially to stricter gender norms faced by women that restrict their mobility and participation in such activities. As far as time spent in leisure activities is concerned, on average, all young employed adults spent around 1 hour and 45 minutes on them, except employed rural young women who spend around 1 hour and 20 minutes, reflecting perhaps more time taken for housework. A married young woman in paid work enjoyed the least time in leisure activities compared to all other groups. Among the various types of leisure activities, the majority of time was spent on mass media, around 1 hour and 10 minutes per day by young employed adults in urban areas. In rural areas, young employed men spent around an hour on mass media activities while women spent around 50 minutes while around 20 to 34 minutes every day on average was spent resting and reflecting by young adults in paid work, their participation in sports and cultural activities was negligible even among men. 15% of young men in education and 16% of young men who are unemployed reported to be participating in sports activities. For the rest of young adults, less than 1 in 10 spent time in sports or exercises and the ratio has a huge gender divide, especially in rural areas. Clearly, the rebalancing of leisure activities towards some physical activity would result in a healthier lifestyle for young adults. Finally, and not surprisingly, the single largest group of activities hours spent on sleeping and self-care, which take about 11 to 12 hours. The least amount of time spent was by young women in urban areas. On average, 11 hours on self-care and sleep, while young men in rural areas spend the maximum time nearly 11 hours and 50 minutes in the same activity.
The above pattern of how young Indian adults in paid work spend their time provides us with a glimpse of rural, urban and gender-wise differences in India. That's it for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening. To join KSG India courses and to crack the IAS exam, visit ksjindia.com. You can also get a PDF of this podcast on ksjindia.com. Thanks for listening and do subscribe to our channel.